Hey, welcome back, guys. This is Pickle over here, and fuck. <laughs> hey, welcome back, guys, to my StarCraft II visual novel. <laughs> this is the worst intro ever. <laughs> <laughs> hey, welcome back, guys, to my Let's Play of the StarCraft II visual novel. My name is Pickle and apparently we just left off from talking with Excel. And this is my second video that I am recording here in my hotel. Okay, it's been a big change, I guess, and come on, I just met you guys. How could you not be hesitant? You know what? I was actually really looking forward to playing this game again because I was really... Don't give me that smug look. Hmm. Because this is actually one of the few visual novels that I'm actually really enjoying right now. So I, I was kind of looking forward to... Uh, playing this again. It's just that so many games and you know. Okay, <sighs> just had to get a drink of my green tea. Excel grins, no doubt replaying Jet's angst in his mind's eye. Get getting in at ground floor is a major plus. You were in the right place at the right time. If it works out, that is. Hmm. I wonder if this game has like a consequence if you make the wrong choice. I wonder if that'll alter the ending in some way because Undertale is uh, because that's basically what Undertale kind of kind of boasts is all your actions is based on will 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 change the the game's ending basically. Uh, most teams barely excuse me <laughs> most teams barely pay their players anything. I've got it good for someone my age, but even if I have part of my winnings taken for the team's benefit. Ouch. Luckily for Westerners, that isn't a trend that has caught on outside of South Korea. You're damn right it is. <laughs> Being an MLG -er can be really expensive. At least I think so, because I've never been in, in an ML MLG team. So much silence. I can't do it. It's impossible. The words simply will not come out. Wurt. <laughs> Wurt. <laughs> oh. Excel lets out a laugh, genuine and highly amused. He's giving me that smug look again. I don't like it. <laughs> smug bastard. <laughs> Sorry, Mac, but no can do. I'm signed with Crash until the end of the year. I'm not allowed to play for anyone else until my contract is up. So, just to recap, um, my last playthrough is we're actually trying to uh, build a team of, uh, of various players so that we can try to compete in the tournaments. But apparently this guy is actually part of a team already, so it's going to be kind of hard to convince him. As I expected, really it shouldn't have come as a surprise. I sigh, fall back into my chair, and rest my palms atop my head. Well, that sucks for you, dude. I had to ask. Jet's expecting me to pick up our players while she handles the management and sponsorship side of things. In other words, if I don't, if I don't do whatever she says, she's going to lose her shit. And call me some weird name. Where is my mouse? There it is. <laughs> I can help you with the next best thing. I'd be thankful for any help at all. Don't you worry, I've got a short list of easy pickups. An extremely short list. He clears his throat. There's only one person on it, but hey, better than nothing, right? Who is it? Yeah, who is this? Who is this guy? Oh, straight to business. Eager for your bunk bed, I see. Trust me, Mac. You'll want the bottom bunk. You know from experience? Sure do. When I was 16, some unjumped brood <laughs> brood war clan scraped me from the bottom of the barrel and set me up in their overcrowded sweatshop of a team house. Ew. Okay, had to sleep above someone at least two two years past a graceful retirement. I've been soli solitaire players with better APM. He snored a lot. Okay, so we got a new term, so let's check it out. Glossary. What is an APM? What is that? <sighs> the average number of actions made every minute. Top players generally have at least 300 APM off and often more. Uh, average number... Okay, so basically for every minute... Wait a minute. How can you do 300 actions per minute? I'm sorry. How, how can you make 300 actions per minute? That's got, that's got to be some incredible, incredible shit right there. <laughs> Uh, okay. Actually, you know what? It might be because my mouse is uh, is on a wooden table, so let me just grab a piece of paper. 
to put over. There we go. Ah, this will do. Ah, gosh, I miss my computer table. Okay, as horrible as he's trying to make it seem, Excel sounds closer to wis wistful than bitter as he recounts his first years as a professional gamer. What happened to the team? Sponsor flagged. Team didn't have the money for legal action. So we didn't have the money to so they didn't have the money to sue him. Coach didn't tell us until twenty minutes before rent was due. Someone stole my mouse pad as we were moving out, and that was the end of my StarCraft career. Wait, you ended your StarCraft career because someone stole your mouse pad? Big whoop, just buy a new one. All that for a mouse pad? Wait, no, it kept going for seven years after that and somehow still still isn't over. Always forget that part. Exil, top Korean terrain, master storyteller. Anyway, this guy's name is Stunt. Plays Protoss. He's pretty good. Uh, I'm sorry, what the, what the heck is Protoss again? Do they even have a word like that? Probably not. Okay, let me just save my data real quick. Overwrite game. There we go. And return back. But. But. Does there have to be a but? I'm sensing a but. I'm sensing a lot of buts. Am I sensing your butt or my butt? <laughs> it's a small butt. He's incredibly cheesy and maybe a touch arrogant. And he's a high schooler, but he's good. Okay, so we got a high schooler. And I'm assuming that we're, we're like in our 20s or something. Why haven't any other teens picked him up in that case? He shrugs. I get the feeling that Excel generally doesn't know, but I'm left anxious nonetheless. I don't know. I think having a high schooler might be an advantage for 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 a team like this. Might have some benefits. Still, it's important to have at least some kind of racial distribution on the team. You mean in-game races or in-game racer? Not in terms of oh, okay, they answer, but rather Zerg, Protoss, or Terrain. Uh oh, Terran, Terrain, Terrans. Oh, that's right, that's right. They're the they're the different races in StarCraft. I'm sorry, guys. I do not play StarCraft 2 because I never played it. But I am going to try it. And I will record and I'll make sure to record myself failing really miserable so that all you professional players can make fun of me. <laughs> Especially you Fallen Shogun because I know you're a real big RTS gamer. Hmm, do you know how I could get in touch with him? I could give you his info for a friend request, but he'd probably block you on the assumption that you're a fanboy or gold seller or something. I know the feeling. Your best bet your best bet is to find him in person at stopping grounds. His stopping grounds? What do you mean? Where? No 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 no, stopping grounds. That's the name of the PC bang he's usually at. Oh, it's a store. Ugh, another truck another truck across Seoul. I've never heard of the place, much less been to it. Excel takes notes on my frown and wags a finger at me. Tiss tiss tiss. What, you fly halfway across the world and can't be bothered to walk for half an hour? Take the subway if you're that if you're that lazy. Heck, I'll I'll hoof it. No no, it's fine. I shouldn't expect this to be easy. Now we're talking. Get going. I'll keep an eye out for your next player in for your next player in the meantime. Why am I stumbling so much? I know it's late at night, but I'm not even tired. Then again, I just finished uh, recording Undertale, and I had to take like a five-minute break. Ooh, are those fish balls? Or chicken balls or something? And a hot dog on a stick? I, I can ass I I'm kind of guessing that this is like a, uh, this is like a hawker. This is like a hawker alley for like college students. I checked the map of my phone for the second time after reading the sign for a third. This is definitely stopping grounds. A deep breath cups calm my nerves. Seconds later, I push open the glass door and make my way inside. Wow, this looks no different than the cafe we were in, but it's much more blue. Pretty much as expected, computers, vending machines, tables, and the sound of two dozen mice and keyboards. Uh, PC bangs are nothing if not similar to one another. You're telling me this looks, this looks practically no different. Well, Whoever owns this PC bar, or PC bang, certainly had a lot of money to for the lighting. When a shiver runs down my neck, I realize that the AC in here is cranked up ridiculously high. Well, it kind of makes sense though, because these are high-powered machines that they are running inside the facility. 
So they so they really do need to uh, keep those computers cold. In fact, it's kind of crucial because if you have a computer, it, it, because if you have like a really high powered machine or a laptop or whatever, it it's usually a good idea to to have the to have the cooling on like your AC or have a fan at least, which is why I have the fan on in our hotel room. I read somewhere that casinos pump in extra oxygen to keep their patrons awake and alert. Maybe this place has tried to adapt the same tactic to their cafe. A middle-aged a middle-aged woman sits behind the front desk. She glances up at me when I pass by and then turns her attention to the magazine splayed in front of her. A quick scan, a quick scan of heads lined up in front of monitors off, offers me a few potential stunts amidst the sea of scrubs. By Axel's description, he's short and has bleached hair. I'm able to narrow it down quickly and confirm his identity with a look at his monitor. He's in the middle of the <laughs> ladder match, and he's playing StarCraft 2 with one hand. The other is occupied with a game with on his cell phone. Wow, talk about a multitasker. <clears throat> All the same stunts crushing his opponent with a rush with a rush build, and by the look on his face, he takes great pleasure in that fact. His enemy sends a salty one-liner before dropping out of the game without a GG. Stun grins wide and puts his hand behind his head, satisfied. <laughs> Sword loser. After checking the post-game stats, he glances over his shoulder and then spins his chair around to find me watching him. Oh, hi there. Well, you definitely have bleached hair. Except... I'm assuming, yeah, I'm assuming yellow and blue is like your main color theme, because that's what I'm kind of seeing. Yeah, you're stunt, right? That's me, and who are you? I'm Mac. <clears throat> stunt lights, lights up, stands upright, and play, plants his hands on his hips all at once. Right, the foreigner that's excellent message me about. <laughs> I'm starting to think you would show up. Let's get this bet match going. Everyone, the bet match is, bet match is on? What? Damn it! Really, Axel? That son of a bitch. <laughs> uh, before I can attempt an explanation, a group of six or seven middle school... Wait, middle schoolers? I'm sorry, what? Should there be an age limit for these types of internet cafes? I need Chobo. Chobo? Oh, we're dealing with fanboys, cafe nerds. When will they learn? He's the cafe's best player. Hey, Stunt, will you buy me a juice with your winnings? Stunt ignores the peanut gallery and takes a step forward, sizing me up. Judging by his appearance, it looks like he just started high school. I'm at least a head taller than him. Huh. Axel said that you that you were down for a 15,001 bet. Come on. Oh, wait, we're betting for money? Fifth, oh, Juan, not one. Wands. How much were you thinking? 25,000 is much better number, wouldn't you say? Come on, you had to drag your ass all the way here. Oh, 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 it's on, dude. It is on. That's what, $20 or so? I'd like to skip it. I'd have to skip a few trips to go, Mart, but I can't risk having having him turn me down. Okay. Okay, fine. 25,000. What are we going to do about maps? Best of three, right? Nah, best of one is fine. My time's too valuable. Wow. You're a, you're a really pretentious prick, aren't you? And in a show of good faith, you can you can pick the map. Okay. So I guess we're fighting a, some high schooler. I find it at the computer, though not close, that we could catch a glimpse at one of the screen. How much time do I have? Uh, 13 minutes. <clears throat> that is fine. I can continue going. I'm going to save real quick so that I don't screw up. Okay. I find a seat at a computer near. I find a seat at a computer nearby, though not so close. Oh, I've already read this. <laughs> a locked window stares back at me as I sit down. Of course, I need to pay to use the PC, but before I can head back to the front desk, stunt slides in front of me and takes the mouse. Yo, I got it. Consider it an investment for the for the money you're about to give me. Uh huh. He unlocks the machine with a few clicks and the entry of a password. Huh. That works. Well, cool. At least, at least he, <laughs> at least he paid for my uh, PC usage. Don't have to worry about that. Got my headphones on. I host up a game. Toss him an invite. It's not long after <laughs> being stared by Pace and six workers. Oh dear. I better not fuck this up. Uh. Bad tasted hair dye. 
Bad taste in hair dye, are you kidding me? Cannons 2 gate, 4 gate, blink, proxy robo, proxy stargate. There are a dozen different ways that stun can end this game. <clears throat> As a precaution, I scout around the interior of my base to ensure that I'm not being cannon rushed. And as I discover, I am. Just outside my vision range and dangerously close to my worker line, a cannon finishes building. Some loses in a defense are inevitable, but if I handle this well, it should put me ahead of stunt. It's gussy of him to risk a bet of one, <clears throat> of one on a strategy like this. Practically all I have to do is scout to score a victory. By markering my injured SCVs away from the cannon shots, I'm able to end the rush at a low cost. In truth, that seemed like an exceptionally weak attack. Was XL hyping this kid up for nothing? I end up only losing three of my workers by the time his single can is dead. Now where's that probe? There it is. With this probe down, there's no way he'll be able to drop down any more cannons. Still, he's probably planning his next move. I have to decide what comes next. If he's transitioning into something standard, this would be the perfect time to counterattack. His tech has to be lacking, so there's no way he'll have to stay he'll have strong enough units to defend a marine attack. While it seems incredibly unlikely, there's always a chance that he might have another attack ready. If I want to err on the side of caution, I could stay in my base and simply tech up, but that might give him enough time to get back into the game. I should make this call based on what I know about his playstyle. Oh dear. Choices, choices. So I can either go in, so I can either go in and attack, or I can stay on the defense. I mean, okay, so according, okay, so according to Stun, he plays unorthodox, which means he has a very random, he has a very random playstyle. And right now, what he just did is he just attacked three of my workers, and I was able to take down his pro, and I was able to detect and take down his probe. So I kind of have a feeling that that because he has something on he has something up his sleeve i think it might be a bad idea to counter attack because because i have a feeling like he might he might have something prepared for me so i'm going to stay on the defense even though i'm even though i'm giving up a chance to win the game immediately the safe thing to do is tech up to drop shit but looks like i won't need to my precautionary scout uncovers an ambush raiding in the dark corner of my base. With more than enough units, I dispatch zealots with barely any losses. A cannon rush feint into proxy two gates. Absolutely ridiculous. With this rush stout uh stunt quits out of the game without a GG. See? I won! Haha. <laughs> I won with surprising ease too. Damn, I did it. Stunt pushes through through the dumbfounded crowd and comes stopping over. <laughs> Theory in his eyes, he really didn't expect to lose. You blindly scout the smoke in our in your base after a cannon rush? Are you kidding me? Who does that? He raised I raised my hands defensively and screw <laughs> I'm sorry, he's such a sore loser. Whoa, whoa, calm down. It takes like five seconds and you have a reputation for those kind of builds, you know. He makes a disgruntled sound and stares hard at me. Yeah. Wait, what? What just happened? Uh what are you I was about to read what he says, and then this happened. What are you yelling back there for? Didn't I tell you to sweep out the back room an hour ago? Stop screaming at your cus at our customers and go do something useful. Lord have mercy. Without warning, the woman at the front desk points, paints a stunt a bright red from across the room. She glares at him for a moment longer before ducking back behind the counter. Talk about lousy bosses. Wait a second. Is that mother? Is is that his mother or something? His anger replaced with modesty scratches behind his head. The middle schoolers have mostly dispersed, evidently destroyed by the cruel realization that their Protoss god can bleed. Eh, sorry. Anyway, you beat me. Let me get, let me go get your cash. Oh, so you that is your mom, and you play StarCraft two pretty much all the time. Interesting. Actually, wait. I didn't come here for a bet match. What? But we just played one. I don't have to pay you then? What? No, I'm recruiting for a new team. Excel mentioned that you were a free agent and I wanted to see if you'd join up. I guess he thought it'd be funny to trick me into bet, into bet match with you. A foreign team? Why didn't you just send me a message or something? No, a Korean one, and Excel said you probably assumed I was a fanboy and blocked me, although I get the feeling that was just an excuse for his whole setup. 
Man, Excel, couldn't we just keep kept this simple? What if I had lost? Stem pauses, reaches reach, reach up for his phone, distract her, no. He manages to carry on the conversation. Man, he is the king of, he is like the king of multitasking. Nah, blocking you sounds like something, nah, some blocking you sounds like something I do. Anyway, who else have you got? We've got, wait, Jet is technically still on VIP. Can I tell him that she's planning to leave? What if he tells me, what if he tells someone? Why didn't I think about this ahead of time? Well, we can't think about this ahead of time because I am actually all out of time for this game. So, I'm actually really happy that I was able to kick Stunt's ass. Alright, so there goes my next Let's Play of StarCraft 2 The Visual Novel, and I can't wait to I can't wait to continue on with this. So, anyways, thank you all so much for watching this stupid video. If you like what you see, comment, like, subscribe, share this with your friends. And as always, guys, stay tuned for the next video. Stay awesome.